So what you're going to want to do is, before you even watch this video, these are the things that you want to have. A bucket full of warm water, some Epsom salts, a crate or a bucket of some sort that you can put her in after to keep her in a dark place, like covered with towels and stuff. You're probably going to want gloves as well. And you're also going to want some type of oil um, so you can lubricate her vent area. Hey y'all, so today in this video, I'm going to show you how I take care of a chicken who is egg bound. Now, if you think that your chicken is egg bound, there's a few telltale signs that I see in egg bound chickens. So I wrote some down, so I'm just gonna quickly explain before we get to the video. So first of all, you're gonna see your chicken kind of just all by herself, um, kind of lethargic. Her feathers are kind of puffed up. She's not really walking around. Her head is kind of like hunched into her body. Her eyes are closed. And if you go up to her, you're going to notice that she, 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 she can run away fine, but she kind of waddles when she walks or runs. Um, and then you will also notice that the back of her butt area, like her vent, is extremely dirty. Um, and I know chickens' butts can get dirty, especially if they're like a Wyandotte, things like that, and they have like those extra feathers, poop gets on them, I totally get that. But this is like a different kind. You'll just see that it's like leaking more, and it's just a little grosser. Another thing is that if you pick her up, her rear end stinks like and I know chickens can smell I have like 40 chickens I know that they can smell but this smells like not good and like you know as a human when something smells sus right so you think your chicken is egg bound this is what you need to do if you notice it you need to jump in right away because typically your chicken only has like 48 hours to pass an egg if she's egg bound or she will die so um, I don't know, my chicken that I got today, I really don't know when it started. I feel like yesterday she was fine, um, but I don't really know. So I grabbed her this morning and so we are counting down the time because you, you need to do this process every hour, okay? So we're counting down to the next hour. She is in a kennel right now, a dark kennel. Another important thing is that when you pick her up, whether bringing her inside or you know messing with her in the bathtub, et cetera, be very gentle because you do not want to crack the egg inside of her. If you crack the egg inside of her, it's probably going to create an infection. I don't know if you can get it out. I don't know about, I don't, I really don't know about all that. Listen, I'm not a scientist. I don't know. More likely she's going to die. So let's just be careful and don't crack the egg inside of her. Okay. So I have Frank Lena locked up and I'm about to bring her into my bathroom because I think she is egg bound her um right under her vent is extremely swollen and red she's been puffed up when she's walking so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring her inside and i have all my things ready but i'm gonna soak her and then i'm going to use a gloved hand and try to help her out a little bit um let me see if i can show you her area come here frank lena I know. Turn around, Mama. Okay, so here is her area. And as you can see, let me see if I can do this one hand. It's really extremely swollen. Um, there's no egg coming out, but something's definitely wrong. And she stinks extremely bad. So we're going to go inside. I'm going to soak her. And I'm going to try and help her out. Okay, so I have her soaking. So she's going to soak for 10 minutes and then I will reevaluate. I really want her butt to stay under. So in this water, I it's warm water. I have Epsom salt in there. And I also have, so I have a spray bottle full of Dr. Bronner's Castile soap, but it's like the non-fragranced one. I think it's a blue bottle. And so I mix that in there with some water. So after she's done, I'm going to spray off her area with this. This was the Epsom salt that I used. You can use any kind of Epsom salt. 
This came in a packet that I got from Coop Crates in a monthly box. Um, and so I like to keep these things and this was in there and I was like, oh, perfect. So I put this entire little package into this bucket of water. Now we're just gonna let her soak. So now what I'm gonna do is while she's in the water, I'm just gonna massage her underneath her vent area. I don't know what that's called, but just under there, I'm just going to massage it with a gloved hand. And the water's probably gonna get really dirty because she feels incredibly swollen down there. Poor little girl. I don't know if y'all can see that but this is her vent right here okay incredibly red and swollen this is right underneath her vent and it's incredibly red and swollen so i'm just going to massage her belly and we may have to do this for like several days i have a friend whose chicken just went through this and it took her, I think, like two or three days of like repeating this. And then her chicken finally laid like a really soft egg and then a normal egg. So she was egg bound. Okay, let me put her back under the water. She doesn't want to stay in the water, but we are going to stay in the water. So I basically have my hands like this and I'm just massaging like this, trying to stimulate it. Now I'm up underneath it and just going like this. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm gonna towel dry her and I'm gonna put her in a dark kennel. I'm going to rub vegetable oil over her vent area for lubrication um, I'm going to try and give her some added calcium, and then um, you have to repeat this every hour. So I'm going to try and towel dry her. Okay. I'm going to put on some more gloves, just for her vent area. Um, so I actually only had avocado oil, so that's going to have to work. So I just have a little jar, and I'm going to dip my fingers in it, like this. And I'm just gonna put it all over. Okay. Now, take the glove off like this. I'm gonna leave her in a dark kennel wrapped. I'm gonna put a towel around the whole thing and I'm gonna leave her draped up in a dark area. So a friend of mine just told me that she um, uses a blow dryer and dries the chicken's feathers off and she thinks maybe the warmth kind of helped the process along. So we're gonna try that right now. Let me see if I can get her out of here. Where are you? Hang on. Hang on. Okay, so she's pretty dry. She was actually falling asleep when I was doing it, which was so cute. Anyways, so I'm going to lubricate her vent again. And I can't tell a lot eggs. Yeah, she's got a stuck egg. She's walking around a little better. But I just got done drying her. So I'm going to lube that up. Okay, so we're doing back number two. I am drawing her bath water. I'm going to throw the Epsom salts in. Repeat everything. So soak her for 10 minutes while massaging. Then I'm going to blow dry her 
while massaging, oil up her vent, put her back in the kennel for another hour. Um, I'm not gonna film this, I already filmed the first bath and I really need to be all hands on deck. So, round two. This is round three. I think she's getting used to it now because I don't have to hold her down. She is just accepting it. So I just did, I think bath number three or four. I think it's just three. Uh, really no change. She has not laid any kind of egg whatsoever and she's just it's just very lethargic i made some vitamin water um it's basically just like a gatorade for chickens do you know what i mean um it's just i had some like electrolyte substance that you mix into water for chickens so i just put like a little dash in there um and then i also have an egg yolk that i am going to try to feed to her with a syringe just to try to put something in her belly because she just feels so gaunt. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to try and feed her those two things just to get something in her belly. Um, I feel like I can feel an egg in her abdomen. Uh, it could be an organ, but it really feels like an egg. So I've been massaging like that area and stuff, but there's just really has been no change. I don't know if I'm going to soak her again today. If I do, I think I'm going to do it later this evening. I'm just going to try and keep her comfy and stuff and then go from there. Maybe I can put this in here while you eat it. She's made it through the night, which is good. She has pooped a little bit in her kennel. Out. Get out, Ellie. Don't come up in here. Um, she's pooped a little bit, which is good, but no signs of an egg or anything like that. I'm going to soak her again this morning, uh, blow dry her. She has, does she drink all this water? Oh, good. No. Ow. She's drinking all that water, and I got her some egg yolk and, like, electrolyte mixture. So that's good. I'm glad she drank water. That's good. Okay, before I blow dry her, she is standing a little better. She's standing a little taller. She's more active. This is her vent area today. Um, I was massaging it in there and it really didn't feel as tight and swollen. Um, it felt a lot better. So she's standing a little better today. She's more alert with her tail and her wings and things like that. But yes, her 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 abdomen, like underneath there, when I was massaging, it just felt more bubbly. It didn't feel as tight. So I think that's a good sign. But now I'm gonna blow dry her. Okay, so it's Sunday afternoon. Um, we are back from church. She has still has not passed an egg from any time. Um, her, hat, her attitude has perked up a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and rinse her again. She's eating and drinking and pooping a little bit. Not like the greatest of poops, but still pooping. So I'm going to soak her again, massage her again, and then go from there. So I know that they say within... Get, get back. I know they say within like 48 hours, but we're going on past 24 that I have found her. So... Hopefully, you know, we start to get better. Um, you can see that she's pooped a little bit. Mm -hmm. She has eaten and drank because this was full and it's like halfway gone. So she's getting better. Okay, so now it is Monday morning and she's doing really good. Um, I have not physically seen an egg, but 
I do want to say that she did lay something last night. I'm feeling like it was a squishy egg only because it looked like what was the remnants of a squishy egg and like yolk and stuff all over the towel. Um, which I don't mind that she ate it. I think that that's probably for the best to recoup her a little bit. She's walking more better. Her butt is not as swollen. But I wanted her to get some outside time. And I also didn't want her too, too much away from the flock. Because once you take a chicken for a while, then they go to the bottom of the totem pole. And I didn't want that for her. So I will reassess her in a little bit. Um, but it seems like she's gotten way better. Look at all the chickens. They're like, oh my god, you're back. <laughs> she's walking slower, but still way better than she was. See, she's just pooping just little bits of nothing, really. But I'm hoping with some... Man. I'm hoping with some exercise and some food and water that she'll pass more. Hey, girl. Looks like she knocked over her water. So let me pick it up for her. She seems very perky. Ellie, get away from her, mommy. Get. No, no, no. Go, go, go. Let me pick up her water. No! Franklina, no! She escaped! Damn it to hell. I... All right. Well, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> okay, well. Hi. So that's mega unfortunate that she escaped. I will keep an eye on her, but she seems to be doing good. I'm telling y'all, like, the first day that I caught her, was it Saturday that I caught her? She would not have been that feisty. So, she seems good to me, but I am going to keep an eye on her and um, go from there.